I wanted to share a quick update on this Ranger EX that was sent to me by GetFPV. I'm going to be covering this build in a few weeks and my plan is to put PixHawk in it and experiment with a little bit of autonomous FPV as well as get a downward facing gimbal on the front of that guy so we can try to do some aerial mapping with this platform. And so what I normally do before I get PixHawk or any sort of flight controller mounted in my plane, I'll get everything set up, fly manually, get familiar with the platform before I make it autonomous. But you can see here, I have a little bit of a problem. So as I was taking this out, I put the rudder in and basically dropped it. And so this rudder fell, hit, and bust it apart. If you've ever worked with foam hinges, previously I had used hot glue and that did okay, but after doing some research, I read a lot about contact cement. So I wanted to do a video that shows how we use this DAP Weldwood contact cement to basically fix that rudder hinge. Let me point out that Home Depot had this big can available. It was about 15 bucks and you can see that it says on the can that it's compatible with foam. And I opted for the cheaper version. This is about $4. And you'll notice on here that it doesn't say anything about foam. So if you're not aware, you definitely want to make sure that when using any sort of glue that it's foam safe. So I'm going to demonstrate a quick test before we actually put it on the rudder. This is a piece of packing foam that actually came in the box with the Ranger EX. And you'll see that I've already dropped some glue on here just to do a test. Now let me show you what happens. So if you just put a little glue on here, you can see that it just eats away at this foam all the way down to the cardboard holding it. And you can see there the foam has completely disintegrated. So when I first did this test, I was quite a bit nervous to put any sort of contact cement on here. But since this is EPO foam, I decided I wanted to just put some on the corner and give it a try. And I'll do that right now. I'll just grab a little bit out of it and I'll just put a dab right there on the corner. And you'll notice I have a little bit of wax paper beneath just to protect the surface of this table. Had it on there for several minutes now on that corner and you can see that there is no chemical reaction, which is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that away and we'll go forward with creating the bond for the hinge. Now this stuff is super messy to work with, so I want to describe what we're going to do before I do it. So we're going to put contact cement down this edge for this side of the hinge, and then we're going to put another layer on this side. Let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then we'll match these edges up and push it together, and that will create the bond. If you haven't worked with this stuff before, it's, it's pretty cool. You definitely don't want to let it sit too long. I believe it says don't let it sit for more than an hour, but we'll do about 15 minutes, get that put together, and then we should be good. And if you notice this edge, there's not a whole lot of bonding area, so it's going to be interesting to see how this performs. I've run it down both sides of the hinge. Now for any excess, I'm just going to wipe it off just so we don't have any cement beyond that hinge area. Okay, so we're at the 15 minute mark, the moment of truth going to work very hard to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned before I mash these edges together. This stuff is super sticky and hard to undo once you put it into place. So here we go. So I'll try to start from the top, work my way down. And I'll just push and hold. So hopefully it'll create a really good bond. And looky there, we have a nice hinge, I hope. Definitely don't want to find out that that's not a good bond when I'm in midair. You can see that hinge in action. Appears to be holding well. We'll let it sit and continue to cure. Just wanted to share that process. I've never used this contact cement on an RC plane before. I definitely use it in other situations, but found it at Home Depot. And so far it really looks to have done the job. Now, we'll never really know until we're in the air, but I'll definitely be sharing that Maiden as well as the PixHawk install configuration in an upcoming series. If you guys have any thoughts related to what you've done previously to fix any sort of foam hinges, would love to hear them. Please share them in the comments below. 
Hope this video was useful, and until next time, thanks for watching.